Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. And today guys, we're looking at a Zoark Executor deck. And uh, we're going to be revisiting this archetype that did okay last season. And now we're going to look at it in the new Sun and Moon on format. We're going to see if it's any good. So obviously this deck relies heavily on a Lolan Executor with Tropical Shake, which does 20 plus 20 more damage for each different type of basic energy in your discard pile. You can't do more than 100, so you do max out, I think, at 120. So you are going to max out at 120, which does mean you're going to be short on knockouts on stuff like Baby Buzzwolves, which is fine. We do have an answer to that. So Trouble Shake is a good attack. Um, Alolan Executor is a grass type, which does mean you do have that type advantage against those grass weak Pokemon like Lycanroc GX. Um, but it's also a non-GX attacker that can do damage to those... It can help out math, right? It, the math is helped out by a non-GX attacker. Having Zork as, you know, when a, one of your main attackers is good, but having a Lolan Executor as a, another attacker is really good because your opponent takes one prize for KOing it. Lolan Executor does have 160 HP, so it is a little bulky. Um, and again, Trouble Shake for one energy, you can hit for good numbers. Um, it just helps out the math. And that's why this deck is pretty good. It kind of looks like a Ghost Pod Zork deck with like, oh, you got that Zoark Stage 1 Grass Attacker. But Alolan Executor provides more than just that. So Alolan Executor is our main attacker. And there's a couple of cards in this deck that help Alolan Executor be a bit better in certain scenarios. So we'll look at those cards right now. So we got Zoark here, which has the ability Trade. And again, Alolan Executor does state you need to get basic energy in your discard pile and different types to pull off more damage on Tribal Shake. Well, we can trade away those basic energies like dark energies, fairies, metals, waters, and psychics. Even basic ground energy counts. So trade is going to be how we're going to get energy in the discard pile to fuel up Tropical Shake. So that's one of these strategies here is you trade off those guys. Zoark is a good backup attacker with Righteous Beating, doing a lot of damage. So there's a lot of good synergy with Zoark and Executor here, which makes it pretty good. Um, we go on to the other Pokemon. We got one Coco, just a great Pokemon to have for Flying Flip. Two Leles. For Wonder Tag, and I am playing a 1 1 Lorantis line with Sunny Day. An interesting card to see in here for sure, but Sunny Day does let our Executor do 20 more damage to our opponent's active. And when we're capping out at 120 with a Lorantis in play, we're actually hitting for 140. With a Choice Band, we're going to be hitting for 170. So right off the bat, we can pick off Tapu Lele's. But we can also use Tropical Shake in combination with Kikui, Choice Band, and Lorantis to be hitting up for like even higher numbers in the 1. 90 range so travel shake can hit for really good numbers with stuff like lorantis and professor qe which is why we are going to be running a 1-1 lorantis line here for sunny day now an Lolan executor septile deck actually did well in japan a few weeks back i do want to make a video on that deck um i was planning on making a pseudo video without septile gx then i realized that deck was missing something very important and that is the new shuckle that's coming out which has the ability of when you play it from your hand, you search deck for up to three basic energies and put them in your discard pile. So that'll have to wait until that shuffle gets released. And then we're going to try out a Lolan Executor Sceptile. Um, but the deck is not as good without Sceptile GX and Shuckle, so that won't happen, unfortunately. It could be a decent budget deck because, you know, Sceptile is good when you play against Buzzles, which is very popular right now. But this is the list that I've gone with. We got our 4-4 four, four Zoroars, 4 Zoarks. Um, now, since you're playing all these basic energies like Fairy and stuff, technically you can play something like, you know, like you can play Baby Buzzwell throwing a Fighting Energy for Sledgehammer. It's not a bad option either. Since you are attacking with non-GX Pokemon, maybe your opponent, you know, can't get around that Sledgehammer range. Um, Tapu Lele is also a really good one of for Rick Ways of matchups. So there are some options for backup attackers if you really want to play them. Going to the items now. We are playing a 1 energy recycle system. Very nice just to put a basic energy back in your hand, specifically a grass energy. We got two copies of Great Ball. Um, a lot of Zorak lists now are using Great Balls, Timer Balls, Ultra Balls to just grab everything you need. So we're going to be trying out that Great Ball engine in today's deck. That's why we are playing the Great Balls. Three Nest Balls. We got one Rescue Stretcher. Um, just your simple stuff. One Timer Ball. I despise this card. That's why people are actually preferring Great Ball over Timer Ball because Timer Ball has very bad odds a lot of the time. Four Ultra Balls to get your Pokemon. Great to get energy in the discard. One Apricorn Maker. One of the ideal turn ones in this deck is Apricorn Maker. We got three Cynthia's. We don't need to go crazy on the draw supporters, thanks to trade. Two Guzmas. Uh, one Judge. Judge is great against matchups since we have trade. One Lily. We are playing one Mallow. We can actually do things. If we have double trade, we can Mallow for two energies and then like 
trade into them and then use Ultra Ball, stuff like that, to get rid of those energies. So Mallow plays a big role in this deck to get energy, the discard pile, I believe. One Kikui, again, one of the most important cards of the deck is this Kikui, allowing us to do the extra damage. I would like to play maybe like two, or at least maybe fit in like a few Devoured Fields, because Devoured Field is really good with Zork to counter those Buzzwolves. But then Buzzwolves is now teching instead of Widow, so I don't know. One copy of Cephalokis, mainly here because we get energy in the discard pile. Three choice bands, very good in my opinion to play three choice bands over two. Uh, four DCEs, for Zoark, one dark, one fairy, five grass, and then your typical energies. Um, again, you can always tech in like a fight energy and then play like a baby buzzwool. You can even play Celesteela in this deck if you want, um, since so you have the metal energy. We do have the energy recycle system, so be my guess. If you want to play in a Lele promo, or Lele, if you want to play Lele, if you want to play Lele, you know, if you want to play, you know, a Celesteela, a baby buzzwool, any of those like one energy attackers would be good. Um, other than that, maybe I'd add a fourth Executor, but other, or maybe like a second Fomantis. I don't know, but other than that, I think this is a decent list. Ergo Tread here on PC Joe. See the deck in action, and uh, let's see if a little Executor Zork is good right now. Who knows? Catch you guys in a moment. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go find some Zork Executor matches. Here we go. So, game one, it looks like we're up against... Ooh, Fire with Water. I don't know what to expect. He does have a Dark Deck box. This might just be a Zork deck. Could be Zora Glaceon, maybe? I don't know. So we are going to lose the coin flip, which sucks. Uh, we'll see what we're up against here. Let's see what our stern hand looks like. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. We got a lot going for us. That's nice. We got the Coco starred. We got Zorua. We do have to hope he's not playing Glaceon Zork. I have a feeling it is, though. I don't know what other deck it could be. Like, Dark Fire Water. It's a giveaway. Okay, so this is Orc deck. We'll see what the water type is. I did see Colorless too, though, and I don't think that's a Ranguru, so it's mostly like Zora Glacian, but maybe he doesn't get a turn one Glacian. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. That's good. My opponent's going to Ultra Ball away Kikui and Choice Band. Probably going to get a Lele here, I guess. We'll see. I think Zora Glacian is winnable, thanks to Executor being pretty good against Glacian. I don't know. I think Glaceon might struggle against Executor. If we can get a quick enough Executor damage output going, this matchup might be good. We'll see. It might not be Glaceon's Orc deck. Um, the matchup is a little tough thanks to Glaceon shutdown trade. We'll see how that even affects us, though. My opponent will go for Apricorn Maker here. My opponent will be able to get a few things in the discard. As long as our Lily's not prized, we have a nice opening hand to be able to play a bunch of stuff. So we gotta hope he didn't prize. We just gotta hope our Lily is not prized. Yeah, Glaceon Zoark. So this is going to be a bit of an annoying matchup, but we'll see if we're able to come out on top. He's going to do another Nest Ball. Probably going for a second Zorua, I'm guessing. Yep. We'll see if Coco survives, too. Coco living could be big. So let's see what we draw. Okay, I'll take it. I'll have to just get rid of both energies then. So we'll Nest Ball for an Egg. Did we prize our Lily? We didn't. Alright, nice. So we have a really good turn here. For the next turn. Actually, we can attach Grass Energy Execute. What am I saying? Uh, might as well. I might play Fomantis down. I guess. The reason I want to do that now is potentially because my opponent. The extra 20 can go a long way. Without trade, our damage output might be a little sloppy. So it might be better to do that. That was a good turn one, though. Essentially got our turn one Nest Ball play. And we can draw eight cards here with Lily. And we'll see if we're able to get any energy in the discard pile for next turn. My opponent may not even go Glaceon next turn, so we gotta hope. Ooh, we didn't find any other, um... We didn't find any other supporters. No other energy, which is also a little unfortunate. I think we just passed. Not the best Lily. We didn't get too much off of that we really need. My opponent might go into Glaceon. We'll see, though. We do have Zoark. We could just ride just beating him, which I think I'm going to do. We'll see if he goes into Glaceon. He might see, like, wow, I need to get this thing in play, and he is going for it, so that's fine. I was hoping he'd retreat, though, but he's only got two cards in hand. And we can just hit him with Ryge's just beating, I think, which works, too. Um, I think we will Ultra Ball here just to thin, get more energy in the discard. We'll get rid of Zoark. We will grab a Lolan Executor. How much basic energy do we have? Okay, we do have them all. So that's fine. So we got two energy in the discard, so we're not hitting for too much damage right now. That's fine. 
Um, and we can just put pressure on with Righteous Beating while we do have the option to. And as long as he's not playing Ace Rolla, we're okay. There's no way Zora gets knocked out next turn. Okay, he's probably going to enhance Hammer me. We'll see. Oh, he had a Cynthia. He might have top-decked that. I think he top-decked that, because he would have played it last turn to get Zorks in play. Let's see if he even hits any Zorks off this. You know, he did. I'm worried he might be playing... Um, ooh, Field Blower again discards. Nice to see. I'm worried that he might be running a multiple copies of Enhanced Hammer. Gotta hope he isn't. Not gonna lie, though. I'm a little scared of getting Enhanced Hammered here. That would slow me down. And it looks like he's actually gonna be forced to retreat here. Kind of wish I had a Guzma, too. That would be nice. Bring out Glaceon. Put pressure on with a Trouble Shake. But he's just going to go for the retreat. Um, figured he would do that. If he doesn't get another Pokemon down, we might live next turn, potentially. Let's see. He's going to do a trade. If he gets another Zork off this, that could be really bad. Another Kikui again discarded. Yeah, if he gets another Zork here, this could be really bad. He does rip. That sucks. Okay, he loses another water energy. I don't know if he's playing Aqua Patch. If he is, it might just be one. No, he's grabbing a Slugma. I mean, I guess because he has a Rangu. He might have a Cargo in hand. I don't know what's happening. But uh, we're going to get swinged pretty hard here. If we... We do have trade back, though, which is a good thing. We drew a choice band. Okay, we're not going to obviously knock him out. So we'll trade. Probably get rid of Ultra Ball, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, Ultra Ball's fine, because we can always stretch her the Zoarks back if we get knocked out. Let's see what we get here. Uh, no basic energies. That's pretty annoying. We can hit him for 70. Yeah, not hitting any basic energy there really sucks. Not even a supporter. It's pretty brutal. Um, I don't think Exeggutor gets knocked out. He's already burned through two of his... To QE, so we should be safe for Exeggutor here, and I think I will retreat into it. I just, I need to keep Zork alive, so I'm just going to trouble shake him here for 90. Oh, we're not doing, never mind, we're doing 90, I'm an idiot. We're hitting him harder than I thought. But yeah, I think it's fine to hit him for a nice chunk of damage. He has 120 HP left, so Riot's beating would knock him out again. Ooh, he did have Macargo in hand, that's a little scary. He's guaranteed to get something here. I don't know, think, I, uh... I don't know if he'll be able to set up a Guzma KO on Zor. Let's see if he does. I am curious. Ooh. Okay, I see what he's doing. He doesn't even have to trade with uh, Smooth Over. Did he even get a Guzma, though? So we know his hand was empty. And he probably Macargoed for the Zor. He hit the Zor and the Guzma. Are you actually kidding me? That is a load of crud. That's a load of crud. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. A little annoying, though. At least they're both pretty heavily damaged. That's like one okay part right now. A little annoying that he was able to hit both those cards, though, off of that smooth overplay. I just wish we had more energy in the discard right now. Hitting him for 90 is not what we want to be doing. Alright, so we will have to play Lele. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I think we kind of have to. We'll have to stretch or shuffle these three back. Mm, this kind of sucks. We do have to burn a Lele. It's whatever, though. We'll uh, grab a, probably grab Lorantis. At least now we're going to hit for 110. We're going to start two-shotting this Zoark. Those Ultra Balls are kind of going to waste, though. That's all our Ultra Balls. <laughs> Rip. Uh, we'll Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia seems good. I was th We could Guzma knock out Glaceon, but I'd rather just try and figure out how we're going to coordinate getting more energy in the discard. Metal energy is okay. Um, one thing we could do, I guess, we could attach the metal energy to something just to get it. We're not going to get in the discard next turn. We're out of Ultra Balls. We can't do trade. I might just attach it to something uh, just so we can retreat. kind of wish I had a Guzma in my hand. I might play this Great Ball now just to see if we can help the odds of top thinking Guzma. Just so I can um, do some. I might attach Metal Energy though, because he might just Guzma and take a prize on Egg Execute, or. Well, not lately, but Execute. Or even Coco. I mean, if I attach it to Execute, I get that. I can retreat it next turn and get another energy in this card. Or I can put it on Coco, because Coco might be an easy target for him. 
I guess we'll play it on the egg, because I think egg is a bigger target for my opponent right now. And we will swing him for 110, so we are going to be too shy in him. Though, he's most likely going to ace roll of this turn, which is bad. But Executor won't get knocked out. That's another positive. He can't one-shot Executor here. He's already burned his Kikuis. I mean, full bench would be 140. Devoured field. He's actually going to be... He'd be 10 short, even with a full field Kikui. That's good. Full field Kikui with the Devoured field would not give him a knockout on Executor. That's how bulky this is in these matchups. Uh, it just sucks we haven't been able to get much energy in the discard. And the fact that he was able to find both Zork and Guzma off of that smooth over trade, or Instructor, whatever it was, is a little annoying. So he's probably going to ace roller here, go into this Zork. We will knock it out, though, most likely. As long, I mean, we sent the, I don't know, actually. This is kind of tough. But if we can draw Guzma, we can knock out Glaceon or Zork. Probably knock out Zork, to be honest. And then get another energy in the discard. That's one of the only ways to do it right now. Oh, he's going to max Potion. Oh, that's a little ridiculous. But he heals his Glaceon. That's fine. But he attaches another water to it. That's not fine. I mean, if he ace Rollas this turn, oh, that's going to be rough. He healed a lot of damage there. That's going to be really brutal if he gets ace Rollas. He's going to get rid of an escape rope. Actually, I kind of wish he played that so I can just sacrifice egg or cocoa. Probably, maybe cocoa would better sacrifice. Because I don't really want to go down that many eggs. I did lose my stretcher. I'm already down in Execute. I don't know. Okay, he's gonna play Choice Band. Is he just gonna let Zor get knocked out, or is he gonna retreat? He's gonna do Cynthia. Let's see. Maybe he doesn't play Ace Roll in his list. Maybe that Max Potion is the Ace Roll. No, he's actually gonna let me knock him out. I am fine with that. I actually won't get knocked out by a Polar Spirit Guzma play, which is kind of funny. Um, we do have an Energy Recycle System. I can't play that though. So we'll Cynthia. And hopefully get another Executor here. No, we didn't. E, that's actually kind of bad. Alright, well. Hmm. No, that's really bad. Hmm. I might... We'll play Water on Energy on the Lele. We'll knock him out. So maybe we have to fall back on Energy Drive, I guess. That might have to be the play. We take our two prizes, though. There's an Executor, and there's a Nest Ball. Pretty good. So we can bring out Lele, retreat it, go an Egg. Yeah, that seems fine. And we might be able to take out Zork this turn, too, potentially. We can't take advantage of Mallow. We can get another Zork down. I mean, it'd be bad if he can knock out both Execute and Executor in this turn, but he can't. But he's actually just bringing out Lele, which is fine. Kind of wish I saved the water, then. That's fine. We do have enough HP to take a hit from Frost Bullet, which is really good. I will have to give up this Grass Energy, though. I don't like that, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I do have Mallow, and I can get another Zoark going soon, so that's fine. It's actually pretty big he's not taking a prize this turn. And again, as long as he's not playing any of these Rollas, and no more Max Potion shenanigans happen, we might be okay to potentially clean out this game. Maybe. This is still gonna be a very close game at the end of the day. Things kind of just have to go right for us. If we can maybe get a different energy top deck, like a dark energy, you know, play a few cards, it's possible to draw into one of our other types of energies. That would be huge, because this will let us retreat Lele. Go from there. I still think it was the better play still to play, even just if we saved it, knowing this play would happen, I think it was still better to attach just to save ourselves. And I see what he's doing. He's going to try and take three prizes, but that's not going to happen. And oh, no energy top deck. It's really annoying, um, but we will be able to retreat. We do... Uh, he will be able to Guzma me again. I guess he will get the three prizes. We'll be ready for that. We will Mallow. Probably will need to get this Grass Energy. Grass Energy, and I guess... I guess Guzma? I don't think I'm going to do anything else next turn. This kind of just guarantees I can attack with the Ziggy Tour. And with Tropical Shake. Still doing 110. It's still a lot of damage. We're still too shy in him, even though we only have two energy in the discard. And that's kind of why I like the Lorantis in this deck. That 20 damage goes a long way. It's just why it's good in this deck, in my opinion. I'm glad I got the Fomantis early on when I did. As you can see, if I didn't, you know, we would not be putting these numbers on the board. Worst case scenario, he take he'll take the three prizes. That will put us in a pretty ugly spot but to do that he might have to give her another dc unless he's playing a fifth water energy we'll see i wouldn't mind getting judge either 
Maybe, well, uh, let me, no, no, I was gonna say how many Guzmans he got left. Ooh, he's not even bringing out the Lele one. Huh. Okay. Hmm, this is a weird play. Hmm. This is weird. He's not taking the three prizes. Why? Is he, like, planning something? How many... That's his, what, third Guzma? He's probably out of Guzmas. He's probably playing a Palpad. I wouldn't be surprised if he isn't. I think Zoark actually does like having Palpad on their lists. Just being able to get those supporters back is good, because you can draw them anyway for trade. I don't know, though. That was a weird play. Interesting. Alright, let's see what he does. I'm really surprised he's not taking the three prizes, though. I don't know why he did that. He also sacrificed another DCE. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, he is playing Ace Rolla, but he's discarded it. I don't know, man. This is weird. He's going to mention another Zorua. That's fine. That means he can get another Zork down, but I'm still really puzzled by this play. Both Lele's are heavily damaged. He's obviously not going to drop a counter-energy Lele out of nowhere, though, so I still don't get that. Wow, what do you know? I drew an energy. Um, so yeah, we can play Zorua, we can retreat, we KO him. We do have Guzma, too, so we will possibly win the game next turn. So let's see what our prizes are. Judge is huge, Cynthia's good. We might be able to win next turn. All we gotta do is knock out the Zor, assuming he doesn't heal it. He's burnt, he's discarded both of his, probably only two healing options. We'll see. I doubt he's playing any more than one max potion. That's probably just there when, like, yeah, heavily damaged Pokemon is just chilling on the bench. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, he KOs the Zorua. We'll see. He definitely does have a Guzma play. I don't know, he's played three Guzmas. I doubt he's playing four. That's a lot of Guzmas to play. That's a lot to play. I don't think he's playing four. But bringing out Zora tells me he does have it, or he's going to play Escape Rope. I guess if he plays Escape Rope, I have to give up a prize. Probably will just be the Zorua, to be honest. I don't know, actually. Escape Rope will be better be playing Escape Rope. I doubt he's not going to be playing, like, one of them, like, like, an Escape Rope, Max Potion, Ace Rolla. There's no way he's playing, like, two Escape Ropes, two Ace Rollas, two Max Potions. I highly doubt it. So I don't know what's happening. I guess he just wants to attack with a different Zora because he knows this one's heavily damaged. I don't know. My opponent's been doing some really interesting plays i i'm puzzled by it. I, I don't know he did find the dc i'm assuming he found the zoark okay so he saved himself he is playing two ace rollers i'm a little surprised by that many ace rollers but whatever i mean if he didn't well no he has zoark because he ace roller Ugh. is there a way to maybe knock him out this turn we nah we would need a lot there's no way to take out lele Still, I think we're still in a pretty commanding position. No other Glaceon threat is also kind of nice. We're not doing enough to take out Lele. That's fine. We'll uh, trade off Nest Ball. Okay, what do I want to do? Do I want to judge on Cynthia? Might as well just judge him. Maybe try and make, make him not have anything in his hand. Well, there's the energy. DC's good. Would be nice to get one of our Guzmas, though. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's, um... Hmm. We do have... We can potentially win next turn. We know he's probably gonna retreat into another Zork. We did judge him, though, so we'll see if judges disrupt him enough. I might just plop the energy down now, to be honest. Just to play it. Well, Trottle will shake him. We could win next turn. We just need to get into one of our Guzmas. Which could happen. It's what I get for playing two and not three, though. Didn't think I need three. There's a Zoark. He does just need to find a DC. If he has three Ace Rollers, I might quit because that's too much. That's too many Ace Rollers to deal with when he has a Max Potion. Just, I don't get it. That's too many healing cards. I don't think he plays that many healing cards. There's no way. He's going to go Macargo. All right, let's see what his moves are. Just a knockout. Okay, and that is indeed game, because Zoark will... Actually, no, it's not game. We need another Pokemon. Okay. Alright, I see you. Never mind. Never mind. That one of Kikui is making all the difference. 
Let's just see if we can actually get another Pokemon. Yeah, we're good. So we'll give him the GG's and Raichu's beating for the win in a pretty interesting match here against a Zora Glaceon deck. And to be honest, I might just wrap the video there, guys. I mean, one of the reasons why I kind of do shorter videos on, like, this is going up on a, what, a Wednesday? I mean, mainly because I gotta go to college super early in the morning the following day, and I don't have enough time to record it tomorrow. So, we're just gonna probably gonna end up the video here with that one match. The video might be shorter. Um, I'm down to revisit this deck. I might tweak it a bit, but I'm actually really satisfied with how the deck worked for us there. Um... Obviously, we weren't able to get as much energy in the discard as I really wanted to. That's one of the things you want to do. You want to be hitting big numbers. We were actually hitting just good enough numbers to two-shot him. You can kind of see the strength of Executor. Um, but I will end... I am in another video with that one game, guys. I don't have a lot of time to record, and especially because I got to go to college early. I, you know, I got to get another video done for you guys. But this is a deck that I do like playing. I think it's still good right now. It didn't really lose much with rotation, to be honest with you. Other, other than Puzzle, but any Zora deck lost Puzzle... But I am satisfied with this list. I'm telling you guys, that 1-1 Lorantis tech went all the way. Without Lorantis, we were not going to be able to win that game. We would not have been able to hit those 110 damage numbers we needed to do. So Lorantis was one of the MVPs of this deck. This is one of the best cards to play in this deck, is this 1-1 Lorantis. Um, it's just really good. It counts as an extra energy while you're trying to set up. But I'm satisfied with the deck. Um, a pretty good match against Zora Glaceon. A matchup that is kind of tough considering Glaceon shuts down our trade, which shuts down our, you know, potential energy in the discard output. But that was a pretty fun match. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Help me on the road to hitting 4,000 subscribers. And I'll catch you guys on the PCGO video. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, have a good day.